Hi guys, this is Jackie from TechJackie.com. Welcome to another video on SEO. First of all, if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you press the subscribe button down below. So whenever we release a new SEO video like this, you get notified, right? So it's been a long time since my last videos. My uh, so I've been doing the live S uh, SEO show for a while now. If you haven't heard about it uh, of it, make sure you check out some of my latest YouTube videos. I have a couple of new live videos, right? Which I post almost regularly. But you know, uh, lately I haven't been posting it quite often due to some work. But then I hopefully I, I hope to come back and post more live videos. But then you know I couldn't resist to make myself this video that is on the current situations, the current uh, controversy uh, around why uh, the the related Google writing title tag toss free right or, or um, what do you say problems that you know many of the SEOs and webmasters have been kind of complaining about over the past few days so um basically um around you know around august 17 i noticed late morning um that you know i've started seeing massive title rewrite on google so this had been happening on, on uh, some of my client web, uh, website as well as uh, other results right and um, so i reported this on twitter asking if anyone has seen this and they also tagged Barry Schwartz, uh, Rusty Brick, the guy who runs the popular um, SEO news website called SEO Roundtable. Make sure to check it out. It's one of the most reputable SEO news website out there. So after a couple of hours, more people started reporting, more people started tagging um, Barry Schwartz, which ultimately he decided to publish it on, on his website, on his blog on August 17, as you can see. Right, so this is my Twitter there, and a couple of more people start reporting. Um, initially, I had been seeing this problem uh, a day or two prior to August 17, about August 15 or 16, but then at that time it was not in a massive scale. I could still see, you know, most of the results still have the same title tag, but then on August 17, you know, everything seems to basically shift it, and most of the results, you know, titles have completely been re rewritten, right? So in this video, I would like to kind of discuss on two uh, things. First, why does Google actually rewrite your title tag? And second, how to really fix it, right? Um, so re regarding, so okay, let's dive to the, the why, the reasons behind this, okay? So if we've been, it's been known for years that, you know, Google has a habit or Google can and will rewrite your either both uh, your meta description or your or your title tag right um so you know let's say you provide something with regarding the meta description then suddenly after it display on the search results it completely changed regarding meta description um that has been you know quite famous and you know people have been known it for years also title tag right like well, only occasionally they would do it but in most cases they will still show the title tag that you have given the search results however on august 17th the the thing has gone out of control and you know google has started doing it in a massive scales even on websites whose you know who the web owner thought that they have given the right title tag and stuff like that still got their title rewritten right and um also, you know, many people have started tagging Google and Danny Sullivan, um, the search liaison on Twitter, which act, uh, ultimately he came out and said that this was not a bug, right? We thought it would be a bug, but it was not a bug. And it, it is still going on at the moment, right? So why does Google actually change or rewrite a title tag? The reason comes down to how the uh, algorithm actually works what fundamentally and what is the goal of Google. That is to deliver the most useful and relevant results to users. So how does the, so, you know, why then, right? So why now, why not initially, why is this happening right now? Well, the reason is because how the algorithm works. You have to understand that Google has, uh, has been, you know, constantly updating their algorithms. Over the past few years, um, they have been, you know, changing multiple algorithms. Very recently, they have switched from what they, what was called as word to vec to BERT, right? So word to vec was one of the machine learning models which they used uh, previously um, prior to the BERT announcement. But then in 2019, once they announced the BERT algorithms, 
which was switched to Transformers uh, models, it completely changed how the search uh, looks, right? So now the search results are more uh, relevant, more, um, what is it, more um, rich, and you, we can even see, you know, there have been a tremendous improvement to search uh, after this switch from word to vec to Transformers or BERT model. Also, right now, they've also been, you know, um, releasing other transformer based algorithms such as MUM, right? M U M, multi tax uni unified models, and other than other as well, right? Which we don't know. So, which means that with the advancements of BERT and transformers uh, algorithms, Google seems to be given more freedom to the machine learning, right? To, to, to the machines now, because we have to understand that. Um, you know, there always will be a drawbacks of using machine learning in the system like this. So just, you know, getting things out of control and stuff like that. So there will always be some measures or some restriction put on top of these machine learning algorithms, right? To prevent it to kind of act of something like, you know, if you remember from Terminators, right? Skynet, for, for instance, right? The AI which took over the world. That is something which Google, you know, also seems to be worried about, and that's why there always uh, has been this kind of uh, restriction put on top of these algorithms. Obviously, Google will not turn into something like Skynet, and it will not take over the world. It just operates on web pages, right? But um, regardless, there isn't uh, enough confidence, right? There wasn't enough confidence in the algorithms whether or not it it, it can perform um, good enough. But now with the advancement of machine learning uh, in the algorithms, Google seems to be given more freedom, right, to their algorithms that, you know, kind of something like, okay, now we, are, we have completely trusted you. You can definitely go and change the title tag, whatever you want, right, because we don't care, because we know that you work so well, and therefore we have given you all the freedoms. So this is why, is my theory, my own theory, um, to keep in mind that why Google's title rewrite, uh, re rewriting um, problem has just started appearing right now because Word2Vec initially was not that good when it comes to relevance, when it comes to search quality, but now with Transformers and after a couple of you know years, it's been like two years since the announcement of BERT, uh, the machine has already learned enough and seems to have done quite well, right, in figuring out what the user actually wants. Which is why seem, it seems that Google has given it more freedom. So this based on how I understand machine learnings and how I understand Google um, from my experience. And it's my theory here. Okay, so now how to actually fix it, right? How to actually fix this problem. The, 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 the solution is quite simple. Number one, make sure that your title is short and concise. Uh, from after analyzing a, a couple hundred of results, I've come to the conclusion that all of the titles that have been rewritten are mostly the long one, right? The long, um, the long, what do you say? The long, un, um, undescriptive ones, which actually doesn't explain what the page is really about in a short, concise way. So let's say, for instance, you know, you're, you you want to rank for something like plumbing Chicago, and you have a title something like plumbing Chicago. Um, uh, we 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 help fix your water heat, heater installation stuff like that, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Definitely, this type of title um, still has your keywords, still focus on your keywords, but it's not short and not concise enough, right? What the user is actually looking for. And secondly, make sure you that your title uh, tells the users exactly what the page is about. So, you know, this comes down to search intent. Make sure that your search intent, the page intent is concise and is clear enough, right? So let's say you're selling something, make sure that it, the title actually says that you sell something, right? In a very short precise and concise manner right not not try to you know stuff in as many keywords as possible which ultimately you know makes it look spammy and makes it look irre irre irrelevant right to what your page is actually about 
make sure it tells the users exactly what the page is looking for, uh, what the page is about, nothing more and nothing less, right? So let me give you an example of the page that got Thai rewritten. So this guy complained to me in, on Twitter and says that his title for this for this page got pulled out from the alt text, right? So alt text of the image. So if we open up the page, uh, if we look at the source code here, now you can see that this is the original title tag, right? So if I zoom in, this was the original, this is the original title tag, exclusive. So the query here is Windows 11 survey users. Here's the title tag, exclusive survey, Windows 11 will adopt it. Uh, will be adopted rapidly. A lot of users are going for touch devices. This is the original title tag. And as you can see, it's very long and you know it's not really concise, not really telling what the page is really about. Although it kind of tells what the page is about, but you know it's not 100% reflecting what the query means. However, if you look at this title tag, right? Windows 11 survey users go for touch device much more concise so this was pulled out from the title uh, alt text so if i search for alt text you can see right so this is this what got pulled out windows 11 survey users go for touch devices this is from the image alt text here so as you can see here windows 11 survey users go for touch devices and the original title uh, exclusive service windows 11 will adopt it rapidly a lot of users are going for touch devices it pretty much means the same right it already answers so this one you can see it clearly answers what the query is about so uh, people search for windows 11 survey users they want to know what what is the majority of people actually you know say about windows 11 and it clearly answers it in a very short concise manner that according to the survey uh users will go for touch devices. That's it, short, concise, simple, straightforward, compared to you know this one, which actually means the same if you think about it. It means the same, but a lot of all these, you know, uh, junk, a lot of all these are junk and what Google actually didn't like, right? So uh, basically this is the way on how to fix it. Make sure is the title short and concise, and secondly, make sure that your title tells exactly what the users, uh, tell the users what exactly the page is about, the meaning behind the page, right? Um, so I hope this video uh, is, uh, so I hope you find this video valuable. Again, um, if you're really not sure uh, whether or not you're doing it correctly, you can always, you know, come um, shoot me a quick email, and you can send me your title. I'll ha I'll be happy to take a look at them. You can also leave it in the comment section down below as well. And if you have any questions, any queries, or any problems related to SEO, uh, make sure to check out my website. I do offer a, a, an SEO coaching slash consultation uh, service. So you know that could uh, that would definitely help you improve your um, your 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 impressions and your visibility in the search much more right so um so i hope that you find this video valuable if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and thank you for watching see you in the next video